Welcome back and get ready to witness the most breathtaking Zaya outplays. From feathered finesse to unparalleled precision, these plays redefine what it means to dominate the rift. Make sure to subscribe for more daily updates. And let's get back in with Sumbru, where he draws huge focus from enemies, but it was not enough to stop him from seizing a game-winning moment. Hades mostly plays her in the mid lane, and believe me, this guy is an unbelievable feather shooter. Here is one of those moments where the red side made a huge throw by fighting without grouping up. Now they have a chance to take the Nasher buff, which probably leads to their comeback. This guy went completely to the next level with an unexpected surprise. There are many feathers under Nashor, and when enemies come near, he quickly dashes behind every one of them using Gale Force and Flash. After taking down Zoe, Twitch had a great opportunity to get back into the game if he could secure the gold bounty for Lemon's life. Once Lulu reached level 6, he instantly went all in, but Lulu didn't even have a chance to cast her ultimate before he disappeared. After hard pushing the top lane, the enemy Urgot started to roam the entire map, taking down everyone from the red team one by one. At this moment, he's overfed, hard shredding everyone. Balamo with Yumi decided to finally get rid of him, but Urgot wasn't the only problem. This might be one of the biggest game-ending fights that I have ever seen. Jace wiped almost the entire team, but the enemy Akshan took him down, respawning everyone and creating a huge challenge for Serbi.
Raycon and Zaya can definitely create the most satisfying outplays. Here is a moment of a 2v2 fight where Raycon is near death. However, he jumps back into the fight, risking his life to knock up both enemies, creating a great opportunity for Asunality to finish the job. Gotta save me from myself This emptiness, it hurts like hell My good intentions let me down The blue team is already far behind. We had a battle around the Drake pit where everyone was taken down. This guy is the last one alive. He's not giving up, but with only two kills and seven deaths, he shouldn't be a problem for the enemies. However, we have an unexpected outplay. It's 40 minutes into the game. At this moment, everyone is fully built, and we all know how a full ability power Silas looks against ADCs. One combo means one kill, but this time Hades is much faster. Lucian sees Zaya, and he knows that she is alone on the lane. That's why he decides to go all in, because what could go wrong if he has Soraka on his side? She stands nearby, but didn't have time to press the heal.
As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.